So nobody can say that there is no God. Right. Amen. You have no excuse to say that there is no God. Amen. Because when you look at nature, you must start to think and say, there must be a supreme being that caused these things to grow. That's right. When you look at the birds that fly, right. when you look at the animals that move about, you must think and say there must be some other powers that are in existence. And this is why no one of the excuses say that there is no, no God. God. Because you see it every day. Because that when they knew God, these are the persons who hold the truth of God in unrighteousness. When they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And this is how idolatry comes about. My God. Idolatry comes about by vain thinking of mankind. Right, right. When man starts to think differently from how God wants them to think, or right. how God makes them to think, when they start to think or give the glory to something else or someone else right. other than God, God. Then they become vain in their imagination yes. and their foolish heart was darkened. So when we form idols in our lives, then we become like fools. Right, right. Our heart, our heart become darkened. Yes. And this is why sometimes you you'll be speaking to somebody and telling them about God. But they will curse you right. and they will tell you all manner of evil because their heart is dark. And they believe that they are right or believe that they are doing something good. But it's because their heart is dark and why they can't understand, they can't see that they have an idol which they need to get rid of. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is how they, they profess to be wise. Yes. You can't tell them that they are not wise, no, no, no. because they will want to show you even from the, the very Bible yes. and show you things that say this is this and this is that, and they profess to be wise, but they become fools because what they change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. This is the image, the idol image now where man create and they place it up and say, this is what you need to worship. This is what you need to give thanks for. It's just like you'll go and you'll hear people will have maybe a cow, a car, and they will maybe put up a statue in the in the in the in the sanctuary and they will want to say this is how you must worship and they place it there and you'll have individuals will come and before they start they will do something like this and right, right. make some signs right. and all different things. Right, right. Those are idols. Right. They come become idol worshippers and they thought that they are doing something good right. because what they are talking about Characters that are in the Bible, and because they are speaking about characters that are in the Bible, they think they are doing something good, but they change the glory of the uncorruptible God. God is not corrupt. Right. He's not flesh. Right. He's not like unto man. Right. So when man starts to change his glory and give the glory to something else or someone else. They are building up idols to themselves. Right. It says that, and to the birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. This is how man form idols. Right. From birds, four-footed beasts and creeping things. 
But here Paul says, when we form idols to ourselves, God gave them up to uncleanness to the loss of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. When we form idols, God gave us up to impurity and we start to dishonor our own bodies and we abandon the, the plan that God has for ourselves right. and we start to do our own things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the loss of their own heart. Whatever your heart starts to tell, that's what you're going to follow. Yeah. When we have idols in our life, when we are putting things in front of God, it should be God first. The scripture says in St. Matthew that we are to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things will be added. Right. So if we are not doing this, then we mean we are forming idols right. to ourselves. Right, right, right. And uh, this is where we have to recognize God, recognize God more than anything else. And the more we recognize God and honor Him and give Him glory, is the more God will bless us, is the more God will lead us out of darkness, is the more He will take us to the valley of the shadow of death, is the more we will be victorious, right? Because we are putting God first. And we have to understand that in our life or in our way of living is not by chance. It's not by chance. And people sometimes say we are lucky. But I don't call myself lucky. I call myself blessed. Yeah, because blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. It didn't say lucky you are. It said blessed. So if we walk in the right path, we are blessed. Right? As the scripture says that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. So when we walk, we don't walk by chance. We walk because God ordered our steps. So anywhere you, you find yourself going is because your steps are ordered by the Lord. And this is how we as children of God should live. We don't live by chance. We live and ask the Lord to direct our path. Who change the truth of God into a lie. So many times you listen to religious folks. And they will open this Bible. And they will turn the truth of God into a lie. Amen. Because they will turn it to suit themselves. Right, right. And then if you are not careful, then you believe that it is gospel. Right. And you want to follow what they are saying. Right. But they just twist, twist it in order for you just to believe in them. But the word of God says, this person turned the truth of God into a lie and they worshipped and served the creature, the creature more than the creator. Right? So they put more emphasis on the house, the car, the land, the job. Right? Because if we have a choice, To go to work or to come to church. We would have taken the choice to go to work. Because we will say that if I don't go to work, the boss will fire me. But none of us will take that stand and say, if I don't go to church, God will fire me. We always say, God, God, have mercy. mercy. Yes. 
right? But here, you know, we, we, we need to worship the Creator more than all. We worship the creature. Right? The job is the creature, you know. But if rain is falling, we we'll still push through the rain to go to work. Snow, we still go through snow to go to work. But if rain or snow starts, yeah, we we'll, we'll say, boy, I can't go to church today. Rain is falling, snow is falling. Right? We worship, and we don't realize that all these things become idols. Right. These are idols that we don't even recognize that it is an idol. Amen. Right? Because we worship the creature more, more than the creator. Amen. And the creator is blessed forever. My God. The creator is blessed forever. But we need to understand where we stand. Amen. Right? And we need to get to that place where we trust God enough that we can say, okay, today is a special day at church. I am not going to work today because this day is a special day and I must give God the, the worship today. And if we reach a stage where we can step by faith, that's right and say, to God be the glory. The same God that allow us to be in good health so that we can go to work. If we start to put Him first and we step by faith and say, today I want this special blessing from the Lord. You don't believe that the same God can allow the boss to keep you when the next day when you step in. The same God can do it, can speak to the boss and say, Touch not. Touch not. Amen. Amen. Right, and this is where we need to get rid of the hydal. Right. Put the hydal aside. Because we would want to say, Why? I wonder what the boss is going to do. If I, if I don't go to work today and I go to church, we start to think on that level and we are not trusting the God and say, this is same God give me that job. So he can keep me in that job if I, if I give him what he is to get today. Right? If I serve him today in fullness, if I worship him today, or I ought to worship him, then I know that tomorrow he will still give me that job. I still have that job. And when I walk in the past, we'll, we'll just say, how are you today? You're doing fine. Okay, take up your position. And this is how we have to get rid of these idols. Because when we put these idols first, then we put ourselves in trouble where the wrath of God is poured out upon us. He said, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. When we serve these idols, then we are giving room and ways for these things to happen. Oh, yeah. Where God going to give us over unto vile affection. Right. And when, that's why we find so many things happening contrary in the world today. Because we are serving the, cre the creature more than the creator. Yes. Right? And if we were serving the Creator more than how we serve the creature, then we wouldn't find so much violence in the place. Amen. Because we would recognize that the Creator is love. Amen. Yes. 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 And the Creator, and if the Creator is love and you are serving the Creator, then you must have love to distribute. That's right. 